Uh, now, you're at a very oh, special Matty. event. You're at a very Yay. special event, and uh, you're at... Well, tell us where you are. You're in Lytham, and at the moment, there's not a lot going on in the sky behind you, but there was earlier. Go on, tell there's us something what's there. going on. No, there was... There was earlier. There were a couple. So I'm here. Literally, my feet are in the sand. It's gorgeous in St Anne's for the 11th International Kite Festival, which I am told is a marathon, not a sprint, which is good news because there's not barely been a breath of wind here today. I'm joined with Craig, the organiser. And Craig, just because we're not seeing hundreds of kites, it doesn't mean we've got dampened spirits here today, does it? Definitely not. Definitely not, no. We, um, we are like, take time out to rest. But the, the wind comes and it goes, and the forecast, you know, we, we'll take the lightest winds, we get the lightest of our kites out, but the, there's winds coming back now, and it's been, you know, we'll take any kind of wind. And the thing is, it's not happening all weekend, isn't it? Yep, it is, Friday night, Saturday and Sunday, so we'll, there'll be lots of ups and downs, there'll be times when we haven't got enough wind, and hopefully not times when we've got too much wind, because we can get too much. Tell me this, Craig, what is so good about flying a kite? Well, it's difficult to explain, um, but there isn't a feeling like it, um, holding a kite in the air, feeling the wind, um, you know. And we all have our own things that we like about kite flying, but it, it, does, it does give you a special feeling to... A chap to... I met before just said it, or you described it as a bit like magic. It is like magic, it is like magic. You can feel the wind, you can feel the wind in your hand. And, and when you can feel the wind in your hand, especially especially if you've built that kite as well, if you've built the kite again, you know it takes you to another level. To, you're flying something that you've built in the sky. Um, you know, it's a, it's a great feeling. Is there a big difference? Because I've seen kids here today with tiny little kites, and then I've seen some of these epic, huge ones. Is there a big difference? Not really. Very little. Apart from um, cost. The big kites are <laughs> the big kites are easier to fly than the little ones. Are they? they really are. Um, and and it, it's it, it's an accessibility. Th Thing that the kids from from one to one hundred, you can all all fly kites. Everyone can fly a kite. Anybody, anybody at all can fly a kite. And the slight difference this year is it, tonight. It's not a fireworks display, is it? Ah, no, no. We, we've 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 moved on from fireworks. Um, more for, you know, a sustainable future. And we're going to trial a, a, a laser spectacular show. Fingers um, crossed. We'll fingers see that crossed. in the sky. Well, we bit. won't. We won't need any wind for it. That's for sure. Good. Because um, I can't promise any more. I must no. get to the forecast. Craig, lovely to meet you. No worries. Thank you. And we'll hopefully see. Oh look, you see. Look at that. Double yep. than when we started. Amazing. I can't promise much more wind. Let's get to the forecast. And do you know what? Stood here on the beach right now, the temperature has dropped. However, we do go into yet another day of heat wave tomorrow and Sunday as well. So it'll be hot at times. And with that heat, we are looking at the risk of thunderstorms, more especially for Sunday. I'll come to that in a minute. So as we head through this evening, it's still feeling quite sticky, a bit uncomfortable as we head overnight tonight. And we're going to pull in a lot of low cloud mist and murk, particularly for coastal parts as well. Now, temperatures are not going to drop much lower than about 15 or 16 degrees. The breeze will remain light. There is the risk that there could be the odd isolated shower from thicker cloud first thing. Tomorrow, though, on the whole, we're looking at a predominantly dry day. First thing, it will be cloudy, a bit misty, a bit murky. Now, for Lancashire and Cumbria, I think, and the Isle of Man, you could well see the odd rogue shower. It's going to brighten up. Some will come out. Could be hazy at times. With the heat, though, and the humidity, that could trigger some thunderstorms, more especially for southern parts, so for Cheshire and Merseyside. You could get some slow moving showers few and far between though a high tomorrow of between about 21 for the Isle of Man 27 elsewhere maybe get to 28 degrees then we go overnight into Sunday and there is a risk there of a few thunderstorms now there's a lot of uncertainty in the forecast we're expecting the showers to come through as we head into Sunday and they will be quite heavy and slow moving so do keep an eye on the forecast for Sunday itself though they are technically still showers no matter how heavy they are and if you hear some thunder and lightning because of that you will see some bright and sunny spells and there'll still be some warmth out there as well we're ranging around about maximum about 24 degrees it's going to get cooler though Annabelle as we head into next week where temperatures will be more like about 18 and 19 degrees and we'll start to moan Annabelle about it being too cold that's it from me here on the beach with my sandy feet thanks 